the word I'm sharing with you, our dear friends, Kandi jambo, ndimo kubijisha, zachu, is the word which says climbing the ladder of his love. Ni jambo Urguego, urgurukundu, urgu I'm reading a scripture in Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, verse 16 to 19. Uh, verse 16 to 19. I want you to be encouraged in Christ. You know, Christianity is not just like any other religion in this world. I know there are so many religions in the world. And they all have a form of worship. And they all want to worship their gods. And they do sacrifices to their gods. But the difference of Christianity is that for us our God is formed within us. Our God is inside us. We are in Christ and He is in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is enlargement in the spiritual area. Enlargement in the physical area. Enlargement in the mental area of your life. The Bible says in verse 16 of Ephesians. He would grant you that is Christ. He would grant you according to his riches of his glory. To be strengthened with mighty by his spirit. In the inner man. So I, I want to speak to you. I tell you that God has riches. And his riches is available for you now. And he desires to grant you the power and the strengths in you in your inner man. Kandi harani la kujiango iguhereze izombaraga nubutu nzibgayo gimbere gulango bukomeze mumutima wao. He grants you the strengths in your inner man. Kandi iguhereza ugobutu nzibgayo gukomere imbere mumutima wao. And then it says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Kujirango Christu ahore mumitima yanyu kugwa kuizera. So when Christ dwells in your heart. Iyo Christu atuya mumitima wawi. That is one step. Yoni inhamge ya ambere. You know I am speaking about climbing the ladder of his love. Nima na wejisha kukuza mukuru kwego guru kundu kwa Christu. So the first step is when Christ dwells in your heart. Inhamge ya ambere ni jihewe mele Christu agatura mumitima wawi. This is why I told you Christianity is not like any other religion. Because for us Christ dwells in our hearts. By faith. I want to say that you are not alone. If you have received him in your life. You are not an orphan. You are not alone. You are not just a person walking on earth. But Christ dwells within you. That is one step that God wants you to take if you haven't taken it. Here Apostle Paul was speaking to the church of Ephesians. But I believe this is also a message for us today. This is a message for Christians when things are shaking around us. When the pillars of the walls are being shaken. But can our Christianity be shaken? Never. Because Christ dwells within us. Hallelujah. By faith is inside you. And then this is the second, te- second step. It says being rooted and grounded in love. Kujirango, kujirango, umgo mumaze gushorela imizi murukundo. 
In other words, we are rooted in Christ. When you are rooted in Christ, no one can uproot you out of him. No one can destroy your face. Because your roots are down. What sustains a tree against all storms and wind is its deep root sit down under the ground. <laughs> so the Bible says our roots, our roots are inside the Christ. So there is no fear. You shouldn't fear as a believer. You shouldn't fear as a child of God. You should not be discouraged with whatever is happening. We are rooted in Christ. If there is nothing that can uproot Christ, oh, you ask uh, about the history of this world. About all the things that has come and has gone. Christianity has been fought so much. There were even people were burnt because they never wanted them to express their faith. But because for us our Christianity is not like any other religion. It has roots. Our roots are inside Christ and Christ lives inside us. And this is where we get our ball this is where we get our victory so we are grounded in his love then in verse 18 it says uh, may be able to comprehend with all things what is the breadth and rings and depths and height Muha kujira ngo muhabu imbaraga Zoku menyera hamge na vera bose Ubugari nuburebure Gumura ambararo Nuburebure bugichi hagararo Nuburebure bugichi jepo And to know the love of Christ Kandi kujira ngo mumenye nurukundu Urgwa kristo This is the level of the, the ladder I'm talking about You, you climb to the to, Until you reach the highest level of the ladder Is knowing the love of Christ You, you must know more about the love of Christ Because the more you have the understanding of his love The more your life becomes stable in him The more your roots go deeper in him The more you receive the surpassing power of the Lord Because you understand the love of Christ You know the love of Christ This is the prayer of Apostle Paul And he was not praying for the people who haven't yet known Christ He was praying for the church The people who had already received Christ in their life But he, he saw that they were lacking to understand the love of Christ And he said to know the love of Christ That was the climax of his prayer It was the climax, the top of the topping of the prayer he was praying 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that you may know the love of Christ. Which passes all knowledge. Ruruta ukorumenwa. Surely this is the not this is not the knowledge of the science of this world. Ndabakizukuriko ubu ntagari ubumenyi buboneka muri science y'isi cyangwa ubumenyi bw'isi. When the Bible talks about which it, uh, surpasses the love. Iyo bibiri vuza ngo passes the knowledge. Iyo bibiri vuza ngo ibirenze ibyo twamenya ibirenze ubyo tuzi. The Bible is talking about the common common wisdom of men. Bibiri muvuga ko bwa bwenge busanzwe bw'abantu. Common knowledge of men. Bwa bumenyi bw'abantu bashobora kumenya kugira. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the love of Christ is surpasses all that. Kuko rukundo rwa Kristo rurenze ibyo byose. It is surpasses the knowledge of this world. Rurenze ubumenyi bw'isi. This why they don't understand. Inayo mpamvu badashobora kumenya. This is why some of them wonder why we are so much you know why we are so much grounded in Christ. Yo mpamvu batangazwa n'uburyo kidushira manga tugashorera imizi dushikamye muri Kristo. That you can even accept to die because of your faith. Aho witanga ukavuga kuti nemeye no kuba napfa ariko nshikamye kukwizera mfite muri Kristo. It's because the Christ goes deep inside us. Nuko Kristo wa mumize yageze imbere muri wowe yashoreme imizi. And his love kandi urukundo rwe surpasses all knowledge so that we might be filled with all the fullness of God you know through this love of Christ as we climb this ladder of knowing the love of Christ you know you should not remain on the same level of just receiving Jesus in your life. You should desire to know more of his love in your life. The more you get revelation of his love for you, the more your life will really change completely. I remember what transformed my life. It's when I got the revelation of God is love for my life. I, I, I grew up as a Christian. I loved God with all my heart. But in my heart, I had never desired to become a minister or to do his work. I thought preaching belongs to the other, to the pastors who don't have so much to do. I thought for me, it is not my work. And I thought it was just a work which is, you know, below my standard. But one day, when I got the revelation of the love of Christ in my life, that's when my life went on on fire for God. And I said, God, I'm going to serve you. You know, when you receive the love of God, you, you come to know, you to understand the, and know the love of Christ. Your life can never be the same again. You become, you become useful for God. Many Christians, we are just there. Our lives are not useful in the hands of our master. We are still on the level of saying, God, just give me this. God, give me this. Asking God, it's okay. Because God promises to meet your needs. But there is a level he's calling you to be. It is a level of becoming his vessel. It is a level of becoming his vessel. The Bible says in a great house there is not only the vessel 
vessel that is not only the vessels of honor. They are also vessels of this honor. Some are for noble purposes. And others are just there. Do not rise from the river where you are as a child of God. And become useful in the hands of your master before you die. What is your purpose of being here on earth? Do you think it's just to eat food and dress up and work for a pay? And you wait for that salary at the end of the month? No, it is not so. You are here for a purpose. You are here for a reason. God wants to bless your life. I pray that from today you will get this kind of revelation. This revelation was so important. To the extent that the man of God knelt down. Apostle Paul knelt down and began to pray for the church. Asking God to help them to know his love. This is the love that overcomes this world. This is the love that overcomes your challenges. This is the love that overcomes your fear. I pray that the Lord will support you. I pray that the Spirit of God will move mightily in your life. Thank you, Jesus, for your people. Pray for each one of them, Lord. Bless them. Strengthen them, Lord. Let them be grounded in your Christ. Let them have roots in you. And be grounded in your love. Strengthen those ones who are feeling weak. Who are feeling discouraged. Let them rise to the ladder. The ladder of knowing you and love. I pray for revival. I pray for the peace of the Lord Heal those ones who are hurting Emotional hearts Physical hearts Mental hearts I declare a miracle in their lives In Jesus name Amen God bless you Shalom